In this presentation, we will discuss the 1000 Most Vulnerable Days use case. This use case will be used to demonstrate many of the features within DHIS2 throughout this academy. Here is an overview of this particular use case. This use case covers the 1000 Most Vulnerable Days of Child Development. This includes starting from conception of the child all the way until they are two years of age. There are a number of different services that are tracked throughout this period. Let's go through and break down this use case in a bit more detail. In this use case, we start from conception of the child up until the child is two years of age. We will be tracking a variety of different health programs that both the mother and the child attend, the health services that they receive, and from this, we will get data in the form of indicators in order to track progress. Within this use case, there are some different health programs that will be provided. Once the child is conceived, you will provide a number of different services. This includes antenatal care, pregnancy-related services, and PMTCT potentially. At birth, you may be looking at a mix of services, including the actual delivery, postnatal care, and family planning. By around 550 days, the child should be fully immunized. You will want to ensure that child receives their full set of vaccinations. You also might perform growth monitoring to ensure their nutrition is proceeding as planned. By 750 days, the child should be weaned. You might also be monitoring various illnesses during this time. Within this 1000 Most Vulnerable Days use case, you also offer a variety of different services. You want to make sure that you are tracking progress against these different services belonging to the different health programs that we have outlined. We can see here that a number of different services related to these different health programs are provided. Let's just have a quick look to see how this has been applied within DHIS2. In this case, we are looking at services that are tracked within the antenatal care and PMTCT program. These are examples of some of the programs that we discussed within this presentation. Within this health program, we have a number of different services that are tracked. This includes such services as antenatal care first visit, antenatal care fourth visit, number of abortions, and a variety of other different services that are tracked through this health program. This is how we have applied this use case within DHIS2. Throughout this academy, we will show how we've applied different principles of the 1000 Most Vulnerable Days use case within DHIS2. Within these programs, we track these different health services. From these different health services, we want to calculate our different outputs. In Training Land, we have a number of indicators associated with these different health services belonging to these health programs. Here is an example of what an output might look like based on these services and health programs that we are tracking. Here we have the abortion rate and the institutional delivery rate. These outputs are based on the data that is collected within the various services and programs that we have defined. In this example, we can see that the abortion rate indicator is linked to the number of abortions which we collect through our ANC and PMTCT program while the institutional delivery rate indicator is linked to the deliveries and facilities that we collect through our delivery and postnatal care program. When we take these different components of the program and put them together, we have this full use case. This includes how the data is separated through our various health programs, which data we collect through the various services, and our outputs that are created in order to ensure that progress is adequate. This is one of the use cases that we will use to demonstrate many of the features in DHIS2. We will also introduce other use cases as well. Now that we have introduced this full use case, let's get into the DHIS2 demo. We will show you further applications of this use case as well as some of the features within DHIS2.